Hello and welcome to day two of Bridgerton month. I have a fuzzy little companion today because he is not going to leave me alone unless I love him. So we'll talk about the Bridgertons with him today. So book two in the Bridgerton series is about Anthony and it's called The Viscount Who Loved Me because he's a Viscount and he's gonna love a girl. It's pretty self-explanatory. Um, so, it's about Anthony and Kate, and how they meet, and again, it's Julia Quinn highlighting, let me adjust that, highlighting a male character and a male character's flaws instead of just focusing on the female matchmaking that took place in the 18, early 1800s, so it really brings depth and interest into just a social matchmaking book. Um, Anthony has issues because his father, he has issues, <laughs> he has issues because his father died when he was still in Eton because there's eight of them, there's enough time in between all the children that by the time the youngest was about to be born, he was away at school, he had come home, his father got stung by a bee, had anaphylactic shock, and died. So it really affected him to see his father, his role model, just suddenly gone it, with no warning, no prolonged sickness, just gone. So he always felt <clears throat> he could never surpass his father in anything, even age. So he always thought of himself as dying young. So he, at the beginning of the book, his goal is to find a good wife who will outlive him and raise his children the way he wants his children to be raised because he doesn't see himself living that long. So he's not looking for love, he's just looking for the perfect spouse and the perfect mother. In walks in his perfect spouse's sister and that's where the drama gets started. So I'm going to put up spoiler warning. I'm going to get into a little bit more of the plot. Alright, spoiler wall is up. So, this book is its really interesting because her humor and her comedy comes through because Anthony is so afraid of bees. They're having a house party for potential mates, which is just something that happened. House parties led to lots of marriages a lot of times because people did things they shouldn't in bedrooms. Made it a little bit easier to do than that and at, than at a ball. But, um... Like the one before it, it ends up in a scandal. He is going through the gardens with his intended older sister, who is a much better match for him, but he's afraid of that because love, and he's going to die early, according to him. So he is strolling with her in the gardens, and she gets stung by a bee, and he goes apeshit because that's how his father died. He's absolutely terrified of bees so he ends up trying to suck the poison out and unfortunately where she got stung is like there so while he's manically trying to save her life uh his mother and the biggest busybody in the ton comes around the corner and so they have to marry off quickly and all this and that and then there's some I want to say like chafing, marital chafing, where he's not really committing himself as much as he should because he's scared and she's trying. Um, and eventually she ends up in a carriage accident and he tells her why he was so afraid and all that and how he's truly come to feel for her. And she's like, there's nothing that can fix this, but just literally outliving him until you reach the age of your father when he died and surpass it. It's just one of those things we're going to have to live with. And it's really sweet and it's really cute. And um, there's mallets of death and uh, very, very aggressive croquet matches. So I highly recommend if you want to laugh your ass off and never play croquet the same way um, that you read The Viscount Who Loved Me because bees and love. So... Thank you for watching another Bridgerton Month um, vlog. If you want to see more of them, let me know down in the comments. 
talk about um, what you're afraid of, and uh, give me a like to say that you want more. Thank you.